What's up YouTube? I'm making a video here because for the last, I don't know, I'm going to say half hour, 45 minutes, I've been looking for videos on what to do if your PlayStation 4 left or right trigger breaks. Now, just to be more specific, it, mine didn't break, but I was having a problem with my R2. See how this is, um, like this little gap that's being opened in between. If one side of yours opens way wider than the other, one of the clips on the side is broken. Um, apparently a lot of people have this problem with their PS4 controllers as they age and why you clicked on this video is because you want a quick fix. You want to still use your controller without taking it apart, without buying a new one. Um, and I have a solution for you. I tried a couple things. I was about to take the controller apart with these screwdrivers, but I couldn't get a couple of these screws to turn being that the controller is super old so i didn't really know what to do i was ready to just throw this controller in the garbage and just buy a new one tomorrow but i was like screw it not actually screw it but what i did was i took this screwdriver and as you oh it's really hard to do this with one hand but as you open it you kind of stick the screwdriver in that little gap right and i pried the trigger off now with prying the trigger off you need to realize you're not going to get it back on unless you of course take the controller completely apart but the point of prying it out that's the first step and then you can see on the actual trigger that yes indeed one side of mine was broken that's what happens most of the time and there's a spring which you can see here now in most of the videos I watched they mentioned that you need to take the spring out. Um, for what I'm doing here, it's not really 100% needed, but if you're taking the trigger completely out, the spring's gonna come out anyway. So try to get both pieces out. And then what you're gonna be left with is on the inside of the controller, there's a little like rubber piece. And this is actually the R2. If you press it here, I'm trying to get a better view, if you press it here right on the edge or even right on the top which is a bit easier the R2 button will still work it's just the trigger and the broken plastic on the trigger which makes the actual rubber sensor or button here not get pressed so if you're desperate if you just want your controller to work if you can't afford to buy a new one honestly just rip that trigger off and press the rubber it's not that uncomfortable like I'll try to get a view terrible camera right now I'm sorry basically you can still press it while you while you um, are pressing other buttons it's a little bit uncomfortable but you can definitely get used to it and it works that's the main thing right why are you gonna spend another seventy dollars on a brand new controller if you actually don't mind using the rubber piece because if it's comfortable for you if it's not uncomfortable it's a pretty good solution and also um, what I'm thinking of doing is if I like glue something to it or I don't know about taping something to it or if I can just stick something in there that like maybe even this for example like if I can stick something in there look this is actually a pretty good example if it was a little bit shorter but if you can stick something in so you don't have to press the rubber but you can press some type of other button like there's definitely something you can add on to it to make it not just the rubber you know if you got some DIY skills if you want to make it more comfortable for your finger you can do that and I might do that with time I'm still gonna get a new controller you know this is just gonna be a backup controller um, but there's no reason to throw it out. It still works. It's actually, if you're holding the trigger here, it's not uncomfortable at all. It's really easy to press. If 
if your butt if your hands are on the buttons then it gets a little bit trickier but it's really it's not even a big deal so to wrap it up I don't want to make this super long um, if you're desperate you know if you need your controller to work bust these two pieces out get that trigger out of there and you can press the rubber it's that simple so all these complicated videos online about taking the controller apart putting it back together like a 40 step process if you don't want to put yourself through all of that this is a much easier solution and um, if you like this video if this helped you in any way please like the video subscribe to the channel I make all type of videos here um, I'd appreciate it and yeah hopefully I can help somebody with this video Peace out. Happy gaming.